Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is D. Today's tarot card of the day out of the Wildwood Tarot deck is the Ten of Arrows in Instruction. And uh, this is, uh, when I meditated on, you know, the normal meaning for this card is it's the passing on to others of a skill set, you know, knowledge, wisdom, or love. And, um, you know, today when I was meditating on this card, um, you know, sometimes... You know, as I talked about passing on that knowledge of, you know, the skill set or wisdom, sometimes the teacher can be the student and sometimes the student can be the teacher. And a lot of times when I talk about this card, it's the teacher teaching the student. Um, but as I meditated on this card today, it was more of um, the student being the teacher, if this makes sense. Okay. And... You know, why we can, you know, as we get older and we can pass on that wisdom and lore down to, um, you know, those that are younger th than us, you know, it's also a valuable lesson for older people to listen to what the youth has to say, you know, to l understand where they're coming from in, in their own generation. And... You know, to instruct and communicate a skill is one thing. Um, to help pass on that that knowledge in the way, you know, you learned it. Okay, but as a teacher, you also have to be aware of, you know, thinking outside of the box. And thinking outside of, you know, what it is that you've always known to work. You know, maybe there is a new way from another generation to learn on how to do things. Okay. Um, when you interact with that, that youth group, you make a conscious decision to pass on wisdom, but you also take on that conscious decision to learn from the younger group. Okay. Yeah, you, you should have a little bit of respect when you're out there talking with these people, but at the same time, you know, give the respect back to the, to the youth or to that younger generation, you know, as they learn a new skill but maybe they, they adapt to it a little bit differently. You know, a good analogy would be, you know, back in the 80s, you know, when computers first came out, they were humongous, okay? And you always had to dial in through a modem, and a dial-in phone, no less, all right? Now, we have computers in our phones. And it was somebody that was youthful that really, you know, helped improve that technology, and you're seeing you know, computers and phones with smaller and smaller and smaller computer pieces, you know, revolutionizing, you know, the technology that's out there. You know, so, you know, yes, the youth learn, you know, the skill sets needed to move forward, but they also, you know, help propel technologies in new processes and, pro you know, projects forward by their open-minded thinking. Okay, and, and we as teachers, you know, need to look at that. But, you know, the other thing with that is if you're a teacher, you should also look at the aspect of trying to learn new skills to upgrade what you have. Because maybe some things come, become obsolete, okay, and you have to adapt. As you get older, most people don't like to change. They like to stay in their ways. But those that do change, okay, end up, creating another notch in their tool belt for a new skill set to learn and to teach to others. And it's it's one way to share that knowledge and not keep it in a, in a separate silo, you know, for yours to keep. Share it with others and let others, um, you know, understand both the old ways and the new ways. Um, when you do pass on that wisdom or, you know, one way or the other, the youth teaches the, you know, the teacher, you know, you strengthen the, that bond between the two generations. You know, there's a lot of respect, you know, that goes back and forth between student and teacher. And if you stay in contact with that, um, you know, both learn at different rates and both can make discernible differences in their environments at that same time. You know, the, the young as they get involved in, you know, new workforce and the old as they look at it and say, you know what, I can learn this new skill to maybe help me on a hobby. Okay, to maybe, you know, help me with some entrepreneurship, things of that nature. Um, 
The biggest thing on that is, you know, tradition, you know, tr uh, passing down the traditional values. Okay, having the respect for the student and having the student respect the teacher, you know, along the way, uh, both gaining a new new skill set along the way. Um, when that happens, when you pass down those traditional values in the lore that goes along with it, in this case, you know, how to shoot a bow and arrow, you know, that's the gift of instruction. And it's able to teach knowledge and wisdom, all right? And, you know, in this card where, you know, the teacher is trying to teach the student on how to shoot that bow and arrow, how to shoot it straight, keep it aimed at the target, um, you know, the, the card that comes to mind here is that five of arrows, frustration, right? You know, maybe this teacher on that student with the five of arrows didn't teach him so well. Okay, so he says to himself, you know what? I'm going to be more diligent in my teaching, and I'm going to teach this student not to get frustrated when that goat is coming at him. All right? I'm going to teach him to be like that archer. All right? Where the archer's just got that mark, you know, set. Bow and arrow is set. You know, aim is set for that target that she's aiming at. And this young student is looking at it going, yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. But yet at the same time, he need, you know, the student needs to hone his or her craft so they can be like that archer where you're focused on the target at hand and not getting frustrated when that goat comes at you. So those are just two of the other cards that, you know, come to mind as, you know, as I'm, uh, you know, talking to you about this. Um, you know, as, as I look within... The rest of the cards, you know, here you've got that Ten of Arrows sharing that skill set and that wisdom and lore, you know, and it goes back to that Nine of Stones that we talked about yesterday. That Nine of Stones where passing on the traditional values with family members or those you work with out in the workforce or, you know, taking care of the traditional stuff. You know, if we can teach that lore to our, to our youth and have them continue on with the tradition of teaching that lore, all right, what it does is it strengthens your path as you're moving forward because it's a give and take, okay, of that relationship. It's a give and take of that energy as you're moving back and forth. All right, and the shaman is there to help out as well. You know, the shaman is there to, to manifest whatever teaching skills or whatever learning skills you have. So here you're manifesting things on your path, you know, things that have made you happy. You've got that overflowing energy behind you leading into the manifestation of energy to, to take on that traditional lore through instruction as well as passing on what's going on, okay? The gal behind here, she's not learning anything different in this four of bows, she's letting those opportunities that are behind her slip by, okay? She's not paying attention to what the teacher has to say, okay, because she's bored with it. Maybe she thinks she knows it all, okay, which is leading to that lethargy and laziness. That page of arrows wants you to push through, okay? That's what, you know, that Ren is there for, to push through to get to the top. You know, be at the top of your class when you're learning things. The king of vessels is there to support you. What support do you need to be at the top of your class? All right. So that's today's tarot card of the day, that ten of arrows, that instruction. Um, leave your comments down below. Hit that like button for me. Share it with others. And um, this is D for the Spirit's Path. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care. God bless. And stay safe, everybody.